if you look at what happened this week with Democratic candidate uh, Warren, Elizabeth Warren, she says that she will fight with Palestine to get Israel out of the occupied. Did, did you hear that? I sure did. Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy correct. to me that she she's making she says she's making a stand. So she wants to help the Palestinian people. This is what she's saying. You know, it it scares the hell out of me, but I I believe in my heart that Americans are smarter. I truly mean this than the candidates who are coming up with really, really, really outrageous statements like the one you just told me um, repeatedly. And I'm hoping that that intelligence doesn't fail us in the 2020 election, quite frankly, because we will go from a capitalist country to a socialist country backing uh, governments around the world that have nothing but disdain and hatred for the United States, Israel, and our allies. And to those people, all of whom I'm referring to are Democrat socialists or socialists, or in the case of Bernie Sanders, a communist. Um, our way of life, the way we think, the freedoms of our country, the American flag, the Declaration of Independence, our Constitution, are the enemy of what they think. And for them, Antifa is a free speech movement. And the Republican Party is a fascist movement. You know what I mean? and a racist movement, and a bigoted movement, and an anti-Semitic movement, and every possible ism that you can throw at the other side, they do. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Jermaine, Iran announces week after week after week that they are breaching the deal. Yep. They are enhancing uranium to bomb-making capacity. They're, they said they're not going to stop. They're not going to honor the deal anymore. They took the money, and they have a big 500-foot middle finger shining at the West out of Tehran, even though they got all the money, and Europe is still honoring the deal. And the idea, according to the supreme leader in Iran, is that if he threatens enough and they make enough uranium, he's going to blackmail Europe into forcing the United States to come back to the deal. Mm -mm -mm. God forbid that happens. If it does, if it does, Jermaine, we have a 1938 repeat of the British Prime Minister flying to meet with Adolf Hitler over Hitler seizing the Sudetenland. Mm -hmm. And instead of driving Hitler out and making him honor the treaties, Britain said, well, if you promise not to do anything bad, you can keep that part of Czechoslovakia and you can kill whoever you want and make it part of Germany. And what did Hitler do? A year later, he started World War II because he thought Britain and France wouldn't do anything because they didn't do anything, and the war started. We're in the exact same position, except this is going to shock you. This is worse than Hitler, and yeah. I'll tell you why. Hitler had conventional weapons, tried to make a nuclear bomb, later in the war, but thank goodness never got there. Iran has those weapons, or very shortly will. They may already have them, according to what the Mossad pulled out of the warehouse, the nuclear warehouse, remember, in Tehran last year. Mm -hmm. And they have nuclear missile delivery capability on the ICBMs, plus short-range missiles that can hit all the way from probably London, Paris, Belgium, Germany, uh, Russia, not that they ever would, and all the way to Israel. And as someone who's very connected with intelligence in Israel, I can tell you Israel's preparing for it. Every week, there's another press release, and they tweet it out too, we're making uranium to build bombs. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? And so far, just sanctions. Now, I, I here's my question for you, Jermaine, and for mm -hmm. your audience. When Trump says we will never, ever, ever allow Iran to get a nuclear bomb, what does he mean? Mm -mm -mm. Probably. I, I don't know. We have a confirmation that they've already uh, breached the agreement and could soon get to 20%, which is the key there, right? 
to be yeah, in, yeah. enriching at 20 percent. If, if this is if, dangerous if IAEA, here, this is they, it's like almost like they're almost there. If the IAEA, which is the International Atomic Energy Agency, which is for the UN's inspectors, is is proclaiming, hey, we know they're cheating. We know they're building weapons grade uranium. We know they're almost ready to start blowing up bombs. Oh my gosh, how much proof do we need? Do we want to wait for the first explosion, Jermaine? Mm -mm -mm. No, we can't. You know, imagine can't. if the police were told in any major American city, well, the bad guys all have guns. Yeah. They have automatic weapons. Yeah. They have thousands of bullets. Yeah. And if somebody points a a gun at you and says they're going to shoot you and your partner and you believe them but you can't shoot first how many cops would die well a whole lot a whole lot the world is in that position right now germane and the question is what is the world going to do iran is saying we are enhancing uranium past the limits we are on our way to building bombs. We have ways to deliver those bombs. Meanwhile, we're exporting terror like maniacs. Yeah. We're blowing up tankers. We're sending missiles into Saudi Arabia. We're blowing up oil facilities, and we're smuggling oil. Ha, 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 ha. Who's going to do something about it? That's why I said, at some point, what are we going to do? I mean, last week, a whole bunch of GOP Republican senators sent a letter to Trump urging him not to back down, urging him to be aggressive, right? Yep. Um, this was after the IAEA said Iran's already violated the deal and they're not stopping. I mean, these senators are very concerned and they should be because the American foreign policy is no nuclear Iran. Obama guaranteed it after <laughs> and gave him money to, to build a million bombs, you know. That's um, crazy. Trump, Trump ran for office saying he guarantees it. We're two years into the administration almost. And what is he going to do to stop them? Jermaine, I, it's a question. I, I don't know the answer to that. 